here playing host for the Ron Moore Intercollegiate. Can you just talk about just, just what kind of an honor it is to host this event? Absolutely. We have enjoyed our couple weeks off of competition and have worked really hard this um, past couple weeks qualifying for this event. But the Ron Moore Women's Intercollegiate means so much to our women's golf program. This is actually the 10th time that we've put this tournament on at Highlands Ranch Golf Course. We started in 2003. And to honor Ron Moore and his family is the least we can do. He has done so much um, and his family have done so much for our program. They're the reason why we have both men's and women's golf programs at DU at the Division I level, um, which we became in 1998. And for them to donate our, the golf course, Highlands Ranch Golf Course, which was a $5.3 million donation, um, we just want to honor Ron and his family. And by hosting this tournament with 18 teams and nine individuals, a total of 99 players, I think it really gives um, the community and other golf schools and universities, players, a chance to see Highlands Ranch and to see how great the University of Denver really is. Well, this is just, like you said, just an 18-team, 99-player field. Uh, can you just kind of talk about some of these teams here? I mean, it's, a, it's another deep and talented field for you guys. It's kind of been the theme this fall. It is, and we worked really hard getting a strong field. Um, last year we had 13 teams, and I wanted to increase that this year. So we did that. 99 players is a lot. It's a big field, but very competitive. We have teams from all over the country. We have Santa Clara, San Francisco, um, the Midwest. We have North Dakota, North Dakota State. We have Florida, South Florida, um, FIU. And we have some teams, Arkansas Little Rock. And we're just really excited to host. We have uh, Washington State coming as well. Long Beach State, I mean, I could go on. There's so many teams, but, and a couple in the conference, um, which is really nice to have them come to Denver. But we're just so excited to have teams, like I said, from all over the country come and see what DU, and most importantly, Denver and Highland Ranch Golf Course is all about. Um, now, just kind of just focusing on uh, your team out there, uh, trotting out uh, a little bit younger lineup uh, going into this tournament, um, kind of just re headlined by recently named uh, Summer League Golfer of the Month, Katarina Barada. Uh, just can you talk about what, what, what expectations you have for your lineup? Yeah, you know, I don't really like to set expectations like we've talked about before. Um, we've worked really hard, like I said, the last couple weeks. And this past week, we did a little Solheim Cup challenge competition out at um, a par three course. And we've been playing the course a lot. So now it's just time to have fun. It's going to be a great week. It's so much fun to play in front of our family and friends. And we're going to have a birthday party on Saturday night for one of our players and my daughter. And it's just, it's going to be a ton of fun. And that's really what I'm hoping to get out of it. If I were to have any expectation is that we feel comfortable and have fun out there and then see hopefully our hard work pays off and see what where we are and if we can have fun and compete then I think great things will be ahead but to talk about our lineup um, number one will be Jessica Cardi she played I think close to five or eight under in qualifying it was somewhere around there and uh, so she'll play number one we'll have Marielle Brune at number two so those are our two juniors at number three is Aliana Groenhout who shot uh, two under for the first two qualifying rounds and is playing great. And then next we have in our fourth spot is Sophie Newlove. And then fifth will be Kathy Barada, who was the Summit League Golfer of the Month. So very confident in that in that lineup. And then Jessica Dres Bamdika will also play as an individual. But um, I couldn't be more confident in our lineup. And I think the girls have worked so hard. Like I said, now it's just time to have fun and enjoy the course. Well, Coach, thanks for taking some time with us and best of luck out yeah, this week. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, Grace.